Basically what happened in Flint, Michigan is that they changed the source of water uh, for the uh, drinking water supply and with that they did not change the system for uh, decontaminating the water so that the, uh, the uh, chemical they used for treating the water ended up causing the lead out of the pipes to, to leach out of the pipe and go into the water that women would be drinking. Well, the problem is lead isn't good for you. Uh, we don't know what is a safe level of lead, but all, always we know that the lower the level is, the better it is. We worry about lead because lead is toxic to the neurological tissue, to the brain tissue. And so kids who have too much lead end up having mental damages. Their IQ is reduced, uh, they don't do as well. Number one, stop the exposure. And number two, continuing uh, with the parenting. Good parenting is a solution. There are no medicines you can take to pull the lead out of your body. There is no medical treatment for it. With time, you slowly uh, eliminate it from your body, or it gets stored in places where it may probably not do any damage. The number that we use as our working model for what is safe is five micrograms per deciliter of blood. So five is sort of the reference point. If you're below five, don't worry. If you're above five, say, oh, I wonder where this is coming from. And then begin to check. 40 is a very important number. If you're above that, you certainly want a rapid investigation as to where your source of lead is coming from and not to and to eliminate those sources. Uh, levels of 40. If you're breastfeeding at that time, you don't want to breastfeed when your blood lead levels are that high. If your levels are below 40, uh, in the range of 5 to 40, yes, a little will go into your milk, but not enough that it's something we worry about with respect to your baby. The fact that you're breastfeeding is more important for the goodness of your baby's health than what lead might come in in that range. So the first place I'd turn to would be to examine the lead level of the waters that you in fact drink. Most likely you can get the test done by the state or the city health department that because of the general concern most areas now have systems where if you deliver the specimen to them they can get it measured for you and then when the result comes back you and your doctor whoever it is who's working with you figure out what your source is and eliminate that source